Resident Evil Afterlife from 2010. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another Patreon request movie coming at you guys on the channel here today from the homie Alexander Collins. Once again, you guys know he is going through and requesting all these Resident Evil movies on the channel. Once again, if you guys haven't watched my reactions to the other one, make sure you guys go check them out. I did react to the first three. We do have the fourth installment coming today, man. And I think there's two more after this that are currently out. I want to say there's another one coming out or that came out recently. Maybe there's three out right now after this. I'm not 100% sure, but I know we have more movies to continue with after this one in the franchise, which I'm excited about. Last movie, uh, the first three movies, I... Again, I, the first one I heard good things about, and after the first one, it's people kind of shit talk them, but the first three movies I enjoyed. The ending of the last one, I felt was a little bit weird. I don't know how they're gonna do it in this one, you know, with all the Alice's, if that's gonna happen, if we're gonna have another time jump, or what's gonna happen, but I feel like if, you know, the way they ended last movie, if they pick up right there where it's a bunch of Alice's, you know, going and trying to take that, take them down, it's gonna be kind of weird, so. I don't know how this one's gonna go, but you guys know, like I said, I have been loving the series, so I figure I'm gonna like this movie as well. Hopefully, I'm excited to see how they kind of, you know, wrap the series up. We've been going on it for a while now, and again, I know we have a couple more movies after this. I think the, the last one uh, that came out, I wanna say it was 2016? is when it came out, uh, the final chapter, I think is the title of it. So, you know, we, we, we got a couple more left. We got a little more story building to do. I will say, I love the action in it. You know, it's kind of, it's got that video game kind of weird feel to it, especially in the first few movies, man. But regardless, guys, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop into this movie before we do it. If you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you guys wanna see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing if you guys wanna check that out. Link in the description down below. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop into this movie. Is this supposed to be, this gotta be a flashback, right? Cause it wasn't the whole world infected, no? I don't know why I'm getting Matrix vibes right now from this shot. <laughs> Right? I can't be the only one. Wentworth Miller's in this? Hey, wasn't he, didn't he play uh, Michael? in Michael Schofield in Prison Break? Correct me if I'm wrong, Prison Break's a fire show. If you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. It's 100% worth it. I think there's five seasons. Fantastic show. This is such a weird, oh my God. Okay, she's infected with a virus too. I was gonna say, this is such a weird start. Like, I mean, I know it was kind of for the credits, but, eh, and the symbolism too with the umbrellas walking around everywhere, love it. Ooh, and then the cut to it being abandoned and in the apocalypse. That was a nice transition, okay. I like that. <clears throat> four years later. Damn, so when you think about it, it's been four years since this virus took kind of happened, huh? That's crazy. That was a little over the top with the flips. <laughs> she do have those crazy powers. She's probably mastered them even more now. Huh? This motherfucker out here earth bending. Holy shit. Literally earth bending up in this bitch. Damn. I forget sometimes how strong she is, bro. I mean, she gets stronger and stronger each movie. Last movie was when you kind of, I feel like you could see holy shit. Like, like the first two movies, she was like insanely good at like combat and shit like that. But uh, last movie they really showed like she she's strong as shit she can do more than just combat you know that's probably one of her clones though huh is that any way to treat a lady uh. yeah bro see i feel like this is gonna be so weird man I don't know, this is so weird to me, bro, having multiple Alice's. <laughs> it's throwing me off. The fucking music, too. My god. It's gotta feel weird for her just sacrificing, like, her clones like that, knowing, like, most of them are gonna die, right? Like, I wonder how she feels every time one dies. You can definitely see some of the effects in this. Like this still like this came out in 2011, but it feels like the effects. So some spots for the effects, which I know it's gotta be hard to do with having like her clone like this, which is why I thought it was gonna be weird. Damn, man. 
So this is Tokyo's location. So I wonder if she sent all her clones to all different locations or if I all like go to one and take one out and then move together like that. Gonna nuke it, explode the whole thing. Yeah, literally nuke it essentially. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers is dead. So how many, did, did, how many of them died there? Like 10 or 11 of them? Damn, fucking vaporized that shit. Oh, one Alice. Is this the main one? Any last words? Damn, bro. He was ready for it. See, you should have just pulled the trigger. What the fuck is that? He injected her with some shit, but what, what the fuck was it? How nice to finally meet the real you. All those powers of yours. Speed, strength. I'm about to go away. So you're being cold. <laughs> Damn, yeah, she ain't got strength no more. That shit happened quick. She can't heal and she doesn't have strength. That's tough, bro. Damn. I mean, she still got a ton of clones out there, but shit. Yo, this is kind of a cool shot, the slow-mo of everything. So he's, he's got essentially super strength, super healing, all that accelerated speed and stuff. So he'll be fine in this crash, but technically she should die if she's human now, right? What is she looking at, the needle? Ooh, that should be death for her, bro. She should be dead 100%, right? <laughs> like, assuming like, I mean, we saw it neutralize the fucking T cells in her body, so she shouldn't have the healing or anything no more. So there's no way she should survive that, right? <laughs> the other dude should have survived too, right? Then. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Damn. Wait, that's not clear, is it? Oh, what the fuck is that? Umbrella Corporation controlling shit. Oh my gosh, man. That's so weird. And it's got to be in the shape of a spider too. It can't stand spiders. Still tracking her, man. Oh shit. Is that supposed to be Arcadia? Oh, it is. Mm, so is Arcadia a town in Alaska and everyone just assumes that they're talking about Arcadia in Alaska when they hear it? We have to get to that gym. We have to get to that gym. Man, these motherfuckers are so annoying, dude. Oh, I can't stand the Umbrella Corporation, dude. I keep wanting to say Umbrella Academy from the TV show. I mean, they got a nice little setup here, it seems like. But again... It's a matter of how much supplies they have and how long they can actually stay there. I'm assuming they're lighting the torches in hopes that Arcadia sees them since it's nighttime, but like I feel like not lighting them would be smarter. The fuck? Oh shit. <laughs> I was like, I was like, who the fuck is down here digging, bro? Damn zombie. By the time we got here, the guards and the inmates were already long gone. I thought the place was abandoned. So we made a discovery. Are all the... Oh, shit. Hey, my man! Michael Schofield, he gonna escape this, don't worry. It's funny he's playing a prisoner in this, too. I'm not a prisoner. I shouldn't be in here. I was working with a military unit. We're using this place as a staging post. We were pulling out and the gang of the prisoners jumped me. Guess they thought I was a guard. So are these other people? Prisoners? I mean, I don't believe that at all. <laughs> Soon enough? You find anything? Nope. Let me out of here. I'll do the same for you. You're gonna need me! He's not telling us shit till we let him out. Then I'm not letting him out. So was, was, was Luther here when Chris was originally, you know, put into his thing? Put into his cell? I don't know. I don't believe Chris, but I also don't trust these people for some reason. The only reason... I kind of trust Luther is because he had a watch company prior to this. So it's like he, he wasn't like somebody who was in prison or fucked up person, really. But I guess just because you own a watch company doesn't really tell us much about him. 
They digging through the walls or through the ground. Yep. I wonder if that's a special type of zombie though, because how the fuck is a zombie pushing through that floor? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Is that a per- that's gotta be a person, obviously, right? That felt so out of place, what the fuck? Well, that's the thing, too, because it's got that video game feel to it, so something like that kind of fits in. Like, it feels out of place, but it also fits at the same time, I guess. I don't know. We still have running water. It's very civilized. We do our best. Uh Jesus. Move it. Wendell, what a fucking weirdo, bro. Oh, shit! Damn! What the fuck? Bro, it's a damn face hunger combined with a zombie! Holy shit! Yo, that bitch just got dragged down to hell. Bitch got dragged down to the Thunderdome. Holy shit. Bro, it's literally like a fucking face hunger combined with a zombie. Oh my god, that bitch goes deep. This is a big mistake. You better keep your eyes on him. This came out in 2011, so was Prison Break was airing at that time still, right? Eh. Fine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my man was terrified. It's Chris. I wonder if he's fucking with her because he knows she doesn't have her memories. <laughs> Is that true? Is that true? Or is he fuck? He might be, be coming up with that lie because he knows she lost her memory. Maybe he overheard them. He does say he hears shit. I feel like he's lying, man. He said he hears everything, you know, just like he said, just like Wendell, he hears stuff too. So maybe he heard she lost her memory and he's doing that to get to, to gain like a, a strong trust in the group. Oh, this is that bitch. It's, this isn't a human, huh? This is a zombie, right? Damn, it is. What the fuck? I didn't realize how big this fucker was in the shot they showed of him. I thought he was just regular size. What the fuck? Dude. That's fucked, man. That bitch is huge. Like, holy shit. Elevator to what? Oh, shit. Something's breaking through there. Oh, fuck. Is that a zombie? Bitch, it's her. Dude, I hope they don't run no zombies down here. That shit would fucking suck. Oh my god, there it is. Damn, bro, that was a long ass time, man. I can hold my breath for like maybe 30 seconds. Shit. <laughs> when I was younger, I could hold my breath for a long ass time. Fucking hell, damn. Oh my gosh, dude. Those things are fucking creepy. Fuck, dude. You better start aiming for the head, bitch. Damn, but now they're gonna be trapped in there too. Fuck, in, wouldn't they have to swim back up with the guns? Damn, there is a lot in there. Holy shit. What do we do now? I know. What the fuck? He's gonna go take the plane, huh? All he's gonna do is crash the plane, bro. Fuck. Yeah. Damn, he killed a couple, but he's getting up. Wow. I mean, he's not gonna be able to land it without crashing, probably. Oh my God, they're flooding in. That explosion over there. Oh my gosh, dude. They're gonna have to get off the top of this building. They're not just gonna be able to stand stand their ground here. What the fuck? Yo, how far are they dropping down? That's death, isn't it? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, the water, that's right. But still, smashing into that water, no? Well, I guess they didn't drop all the way. They only dropped a couple levels and then smashing into the water. They do some crazy shit in these movies, man. Yeah. I mean, that's smart too, because then all the zombies gonna follow you off, bro. Damn. 
I mean, she took out a lot, but like, look, there's still so many down there, bro. Oh, fuck, she's going down here. I thought she was gonna try and drop into like a window or on a ledge. Damn, dude, that's pretty sick shot, man. How close they all to her, they all are to her and stuff. Oh, that wait, was that quarters? That's why she has the quarters. Let's go. Oh, shit. Bro, look at this fucker. Oh my God. He ate that. That thing is fucking huge. Oh shit. That motherfucker is destroying this place, bro. That hammer is so fucking big. It looks bigger and bigger every fucking shot, man. Oh my God. Bro, I don't know how you would kill that thing. You just gotta fucking unleash on, uh, literally just dump your clip into his fucking head. I feel like they use too much slow-mo in this movie though. Damn. They had to give Claire a badass moment in this, huh? Where the fuck did Alice go? Did she just get completely knocked out from that hit? I mean, that shit, that shit would give her a couple broken ribs, especially cause she can't heal no more. Holy fuck, he's getting back up. Oh my gosh. There you go, the headshot. Imagine it gets back up. That thing is insane, bro. Oh, fuck! No, Luther, damn. I fucked with Luther, man. Shit, you know he's dead after seeing that, bitch. Don't even bother calling his name. Mm. They really finally made it out to this boat, bro. I feel like Arcadia is gonna be kind of fucked or overran with zombies because based off that last transmission, that's what it sounded like. The guy talking on the transmission sounded like he got fucked up. There's Bennett in his fucking plane. I checked the crew quarters. They're all gone. Mm. Looks like they left in a hurry. The crew launched the lifeboats three days ago. Mm. Exactly when the transmission stopped. Why? 2000s revivers on board. Probably infected, right? Umbrella. Yep, Umbrella Corporation. I remember them coming for us. Mm. Yeah, see, it's all been a trap this whole time. It's just like Terminus and The Walking Dead. What the fuck is about to happen, dude? I feel like we're about to have a boss fight or some shit, but I feel like we already had the boss fight for this movie with the hammer, bitch. This this is like uh, from the first movie, no, in the first time. I got that shit on her chest. She ain't gonna remember nothing either. This thing off her. Go let everyone else out. We're your friends. Right now? I don't think we should let everyone else out at once because nobody's gonna remember everything. We should like slowly do it, right? Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck, bro, I can't stand when they do that shit. Maybe this is what caused the, the, the boat to need to be evacuated. Whatever happened right here. They have to purge it just like before at the one at Tokyo. The one in Tokyo. Oh God, who's gonna be back here, bro? It's gonna be the guy from the start, huh? That, that was in the plane crash, yep. Saw that coming, bro. I always knew you'd be drawn to your friends. Mm. Loyalty. Oh shit, the Doberman dogs again, bro. Wait, how can how can you control them if they're infected? How can you control them when they're infected? It'd be just like if you could control a human. Oh fuck. Now I have a new subordinate and a new plan. You were the only one who successfully bonded with the T virus. Your DNA is stronger than the others. I ingest you. I gain control. Gonna have to eat her. That's why his crew abandoned ship too. Fuck. Oh, it's got that same shit like the zombie. Yeah, bro. Look at that. That was kind of cool effects right there. Holy shit. That was dope. You've really become quite an inconvenience for me. I told you I'd be bringing a few friends. Yeah, but I thought you meant your clones. <laughs> Oh, you should have brought more. Damn, that's such a cool shot too. The reflection in the sunglasses. What the fuck? I mean, props to you, Chris, but fuck. There ain't no chance in hell. Ah, 
uh, now we're back to a one-on-one, -on -one, man. Bro, the dogs just look insane. Oh, God. Cut that bitch in half, I was about to say, but fuck, that's just as good. Oh, my God. She doesn't heal either, huh? Yeah, I know that shit. That shit hurting this time. Oh, bro, look at this motherfucker. Ugh. Damn. He heals though, I was gonna say, there's no way it was just that easy for her to kill him. Oh shit, Kmart, they did wake her up. Oh, bro. Ugh. It's so fucking creepy. Bro, you might wanna fire again for good measure, shit. Bro, go fire again for good measure, bitch. Like I told you. Ah, oh, look, you can see inside his fucking skull. I don't think so. Yep, the brother and sister taking him out. You might want to aim for the head some more <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Who took it? Oh, it was him. It wasn't the dogs. Damn, man. He really survived all them gunshots. I told you aim for the head more. Uh, yeah, he's gonna purge the facility too. Fuck. Oh, did she place it in here? She did. Okay, the motherfucker's actually dead this time. Hopefully, shit. <laughs> She said, come on, like they were running. She just wanted to see the explosion. <laughs> Literally. Oh, gosh, man. Oh, shit, he survived? Luther? How is he alive? What the fuck? Damn. This umbrella, uh, the Umbrella Corporation coming to destroy Arcadia. Wow. They're, see, bro, Umbrella Corporation's so OP, man. Bro, are they coming to just destroy the ship or are they coming over here to... There's no way they just wipe all these people out when there's so little left of the human race, right? Fuck. I don't know, though. Umbrella Corporation. You never know what they ask. Holy fuck, there's a lot of them. Why would you even send that many ships? <laughs> I mean, like... I mean, I guess it is Alice, but fuck, you can't land all them bitches. Probably hit more friendly fire than anything. Shit. Resident Evil Afterlife from 2010 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What an ep... Well, well, I was going to say what an episode. It feels like we're watching... This is long-ass TV show episodes, man, sometimes. Because the, the, the fucking Resident Evil movies, they just kind of intertwine so well together, I feel like. But... This movie is in the books. I will say, off rip, this is probably my least favorite Resident Evil movie that I've watched thus far. I don't know, man. Like, this was made in 2011, and I know the effects for for some of the stuff they were doing in this movie. It is hard to make it make it look good because they do so much over the top shit in this movie, like with the backflips and the twisting in the air and the shots and the, the way they do it, like with a lot of the stunts and stuff. I know it's a lot and I know it takes a lot to do it and make it look good and they do it a lot throughout the movie but a lot of it you could just tell like it, it the effects kind of took me out of it for some of it especially toward the start when there's a lot of clones of her man I don't know it took me out of it a lot of those times it had so it had a lot of matrixy feel to it on some of the effects and stuff like that but with the matrix I feel like it fit really good with this I feel like in some points it kind of just took me out of it for some reason you know I don't know what it, I, I don't know. The other movies, like, I know they, the other movies had some cheesy effects in them too and some cheesy moments and stuff, but I feel like this had some, a lot of cheesy moments in it too. Like the, I'm not on the menu line at the end was super cheesy and stuff. And you know, sometimes I like cheesy moments in movies, but I don't know, dude, there was some, there, there, there was just a lot of like effect wise and like, I guess dialogue wise at times kind of took me out of it for this one. Or I didn't like the way they went with it for a lot of it. I will say, um, for next movie, it does seem like, you know, 
this movie definitely pushed the story overall, which is good because again, all the Resident Evil movies connect super well and it's like one of those things you can just sit down and watch back to back to back to back to back and it feels like one whole big thing connected, but like this one really pushed the story. You know, we found a lot of survivors, man. We're gonna see what the Umbrella Corporation does now because I feel like it would be stupid as fuck for them just to kill everybody. Like I feel like some, I feel like in this movie, a lot of stupid decisions were kind of made or done or caught a, a lot of stupid things or choices were done. I feel like that wouldn't have, that shouldn't have been done, I guess. I mean, Umbrella Corporation at the end of the day, the motherfuckers are the cause of this. We've seen what they would do in the first movie and in the second movie to, you know, kind of nuke the place and keep everybody quiet or kill, you know, whoever they have to. But Umbrella Corporation, dude, they always know. And that's the problem, man. But I don't know how this series is gonna end. I really don't. Like, either, I feel like Umbrella Corporation has to be taken down, but not only that, like, that's one big thing. But the other big thing is the zombie apocalypse. Like, whether we find a cure for it or, you know, we cure the world or just kill all the zombies and then the survivors or whatever it is. I feel like those are the two main things, taking down Umbrella Corporation and then curing, uh, I guess, curing or killing all the zombies would be the best way to put it. Or maybe even just setting up a civilization with these uh, these survivors. I don't know, man. I don't see, I, I don't know how they're gonna wrap up the series. I am excited to see it though. Like I said, this was probably my least favorite. This is 100% my least favorite in the series that I've watched thus far. But I still am excited to check out the next one, man, because this did push the story for it a lot, I feel like. So I'm excited to see what they do in the next one, guys. Shout out again to the homie Alexander Collins for requesting this over on Patreon, man. If you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is a movie or TV series that you guys would like to see me react to next? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Silas Kane, and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.